Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to some Risk of Rain 2. Been a while since I uh, had a chance to play this, for sure. I haven't even done much with the... Uh, I haven't even unlocked the new class yet, so... Let's focus on that, following my rule of unlocking all the characters on normal slash rainstorm. Let's get to it. Now, I do know how to unlock the character. That's fairly straightforward. Oh, whoops. Uh, there is a fuel cell or something. Open panel. Fuel array, that's it. Like there's a patch, so I gotta change my sprint setting. Oh no, it was. Was it? Okay, that's definitely not right. <laughs> oh no, because that was the. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I played very little of this new patch. I imagine, like I know a few things. One, there's new chests for very specific types of items. So like utility, healing, and uh, offensive. Two, I know this fuel array explodes when I take heavy damage. So I figure the engineer will really lend themselves to uh, unlocking the new character because we do have all the shields and things. We just have to make sure not to take any heavy damage. Which could be difficult, but I guess we'll find out. Also, I think that upper attack is new. We got inside, but we're still good. We're still good. Okay. Definitely, definitely rushing through stuff. Kind of wish I got a better item here, but that's okay. We do have a decent amount of money at least. We can snag some stuff on our way. Out of here. Oh, and it also says how many stages you've gone through, too, which is a nice quality of life improvement. Item. Oh, come on, game. There's. I think this is a utility chest. Sprint? Okay, that's good. Good to know that the sprint is in the utility chests. Can't use it. Okay. And there is one utility chest over here, which I'm just gonna snag on the way out. Okay, more sprint. So that's actually really going to help. The chests that I picked up were a little far away, but I should be able to cruise through the next area fairly quickly. Although I was expecting, when it was originally described to me, it was like, oh yeah, the fuel cell, the fuel array explodes if you take any damage. And I'm like, what? <laughs> That's absurd. And of course, people immediately figured out how to cheese it, because Candy doesn't get a fuel array. 
but what you can do, and there's a, there's a really good reason for it, uh, using handy is basically free in terms of unlocking the new character. Just gonna trigger that immediately. Um, oh, that might have been a terrible idea. I don't have any any turrets or anything up. Oh boy! Wow, that was close. Yep, that's gonna explode. That was really dumb of me. That was off to a good start, but. Yeah, I should not have started that boss so early. I saw the portal and got excited. Ooh. Some real good items here, though, right out of the gate. Just, I am just, oh, wait, I forgot to grab the thing. The thing's kind of important. can't unlock the character if you don't have the thing that unlocks the character. Uh, this should speed things up si significantly. Since we're going to be rushing through literally everything. Kind of bummed that I'm not seeing any chests around the teleporter itself. I should have activated this on the way over. Wandering vapor, okay. Okay, doing some steady damage, that's good. Also, picked it off. Less than a minute after starting, so it's also pretty good. Got him! Nice. And an infusion. Okay. So that's not going to be super helpful since we die to large damage. As is. But it will be nice for just general survivability. Able to take a lot of small hits. Even if the big one's gonna gonna kill us. And even if we did survive the fuel array exploding. Oh, come on. Why are you so far away? I think this is gonna be worth it though. At the very least that soldier syringe. Ooh, yes. Okay, let's melt those bosses. We have money for more chests, but I don't want to spend more time here. But our turrets are already really good right now. Let's get going. Get some shots. 
shots off. Yeah, I know. I, I have no idea how they changed the uh, item balance and stuff yet either. You know, I don't know what got buffs. I don't know what got nerfs. All that good stuff. Ooh, but there's the teleporter. So we're gonna wait, what, five seconds till we get one turret back and then 20 seconds after that, I think? So I'll chill in this area until we get our second turret. I'll put one of them down now so that we can get some money off of it. And it can start getting some health back. Let's grab the small one. We can grab the big one when we're done. Yo! Okay. Yes, please. Not super looking forward to this fight, but we should get them down pretty quick. Got him. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Leeching Seed. Excellent survivability. It's a shame this isn't a normal run. And no items within teleporter range. That's a huge shame. Lots of items really close. None actually within range that I can that I can grab. So we will be losing a little bit of time there. But on the other hand, we're gonna be getting some pretty sweet stuff. Or we've got some pretty sweet stuff right now. Actually I haven't seen turrets with Tesla coils in a long time. sneak up here to get the one more item and energy drink okay I'm good with that now let's just keep pushing forward I like our chances here I like our chances I think we're gonna get the new character Oh, and this is the new stage, too. Great. I mean, it's cool. We get to see the new stage, but it's also going to take me a while to find the teleporter. Oof. Because I know nothing about this place. I've been here exactly once, and it's when I was playing around with someone at GDQ. But that's literally the only time I've played this uh, patch. So I can't sit still because I have I have no idea where anything is. I don't know the routes, I don't know where the teleporter generally appears. I am basically in the dark. Compared to the usual amount of knowledge that I have for a stage. 
take care of that greater wisp for me, friend. Where? Oh, wow. I was really thinking that was gonna trigger the array for a second there. Um, yeah, and the problem is I can't drop down because I'll take the heavy damage. Though I think this shield generator might prevent some of that. So I'm being real careful not to drop too far. As I'm exploring this place. Enough for tier two? Yes! Sight! Fantastic! No crit yet, but at least it comes with some. Nope, not quite. Oh, but where do we go from here? I could drop down there, I guess? Uh, hopefully I don't take damage. Okay, that wasn't enough. Oof. Oh, excellent. Where's this heckin' teleporter? Okay, more zippy zooms. I'm really concerned that we're going to be really far along. At least we're going to have plenty of speed for hunting down Rex. So the way you unlock Rex is you get this fuel array to the hell stage. scary. Oh, looks like I can launch back. I should be good from, you know, what I was doing before, but I still don't want to risk it. Ooh, nice. Our turrets are getting better and better and better. But we've spent way too long here getting lost. More hoof. Oh, there it is! All of our cooldowns are up. Yeah, let's hit this immediately. Oh no. Oh no, why you? Oof. Oh wow, I thought that camera was... I thought that camera was me dying. Or taking an explosion. Okay. So we're almost there. We just need to survive a little bit longer to get Rex. And 
we seem to be pretty well set up. But yeah, this place is a pretty cool area. I look forward to running through it when I'm not panicking <laughs> and actually taking some time to explore. And our turrets are super buff right now. Test coil definitely helping out getting us a lot of extra money as we go through things. Alright, so now we just need to find Rex. And I have no idea where they are. Um, when I unlocked it for... A friend at GDQ, Rex was up here. I don't know if that was the norm or not, though. Okay. Is that him? No. That was a bush. Is that him? We did it! Repair the broken robot! We got the new character! Oh, thank goodness. Alright, now let's... Now let's just go. Uh, probably gonna do a Celestial Orb this run, because we're only on normal, so... I don't really want to do the 20 rounds uh, achievement on normal. Ooh, double nothing, that's rough. But hey, we can finally get a use item. We're just a little short. There we go. Oh, drones. Heck yeah. Never sure how to get down. Oh, there we go. Certainly zooming around right now. More attack missiles. And let's see, I think I have enough for this epic chest. Do now. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Reduces cooldowns. Now let's kick this hornet's nest. Where the heck is the Titan? I have no idea where it is. Oh, there you are! Not a lot of healing picked up so far. Mostly because if we got hit, we died. Oh, both my turrets are up. I thought one of them died. Bottom. Excellent. Ooh, and a Will of the Wisp, too. Fantastic. Where the heck are those? There, you, there's one. Oh, 
Oh, good. We cleared it out. Now we can run around getting stuff. This Tesla coil is great for finding hermit crabs, because they are really good at just nestling into their environment. Fell down, but that's okay, we can still get up here. Let's see, we already have an infusion. Sure, let's get another one. Better than a second Old War stealth kit, for sure. could wander around forever, but let's just call this here. 20 minute mark, normal. Finishing the first loop, that's not too bad. Ooh, crit glasses. Crit glasses or more bleed. I'll probably go for the crit glasses, honestly. Especially since we have that sight. 185. We need 185. Ooh. That did not go as planned. Crit glasses. I oh, got nothing. That's a shame. Yeah, I'm not sure if chests are cheaper in uh, Monsoon. I don't think they are. I'm pretty sure they feel cheaper now, or the chests feel cheaper right now, because the difficulty scales up much, much slower. Hey, Ceremonial Dagger. Nice. Well, we are getting super lucky this run. It'd probably be relatively easy to do the 20 loop achievement or whatever it is with our current setup, but I really want to do that on Monsoon, so. It'll just be a really nice surprise when we eventually get there. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say a nice surprise. That's a that's the wrong phrase. Get wrecked. Yeah, our anti-boss suite is kind of ridiculous. Ooh, fuel cell. Perfect for backup. Just spreading out the turrets a bit. I almost, like, part of me is like, oh man, this was way easier than I expected. I should have unlocked the character on Monsoon. But on the other hand, I did get a super early Tesla coil. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's like 90% of the reason that we're just on cruise control right now. Lots 
lots of chests that we can grab nearby, too. And we've got plenty of money. Magazine's not great. Ooh, another drone. And I thought there was one more chest. Ah, here it is. More fireworks. Fireworks are pretty great. Yeah, anytime you get an early Tesla coil is basically a free free run. <laughs> Tesla coil is so good and it speeds everything up, especially on engineer. Since you do three times the damage with your Tesla coil. What is that? Gain a temporary barrier on kill. Oh, that's definitely one of the new items. Yeah, look at this triple Tesla coil shenanigans. So good. here. Crit glasses, more zooms, or stun. I'm going to take the stun because it's a unique effect that we don't have yet. There's the teleporter. Ooh, this guy's expensive. Boss over there that I should clear out before I do anything crazy. Plus, that'll get us plenty of money for that big chest, too. Got him! Man, those bugs just melted. Thanks to the Tesla coil. That's kind of ridiculous. Ooh, another Will-O-Wisp. Excellent. More crits. You know, having seen a single bustling fungus. Ooh, second dagger, that's pretty good. Side chest. No, I cracked that one open already. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's, uh... Let's activate this teleporter. Down real fast. Gonna get the other one down before the shield's even up. Ha <laughs> ha! Get wrecked. Maybe I should unlock further characters on uh on monsoon since I've been kind of getting used to monsoon. Just over there. I'm pretty sure that's the only one that's in. Even remotely close. None of them are in range of the teleporter. Oh, 
I love the glasses that are just like chilling on my visor. It's so good. Ooh, that was dumb. Yeah, things are barely having time, enough time to spawn. Oh, that's what it was. It was my uh, rusted key chest. This is definitely going to be a level. Yep. Oh, we're so fast. Okay. Let's explore this place this time. Like, actually take our time. Figure it out. No time crunch or anything. Nice. Oh, right. I guess this is the Celestial Orb zone now, isn't it? if they'll ever because there was an item I can't remember what it was in the original game but there was an item that did a special thing that buffed each class differently I wish I remembered what it was because I would love a buff like a rare item that allowed me to have a third turret that'd be so nice So that's a very, very engineer specific thing. Unless there were more classes that had quote unquote summons. And it would just increase the number of them that you could have. And that would make. Oh, right, because it just uses that thing. Um... You know what? Sure, why not? So now the equipment drone is going to be constantly summoning more drones. Oh, this is great. 10 out of 10. But yeah, those equipment drones are also new. Not super familiar with them, to be honest. Ah, so it looks like that orange is the temporary shield that I get on kill with the topaz, if I had to guess. Oh, down here, okay. Sure. Greater whisk. And off. So yeah, it looks like there's a lot of jumping. It's really spread out. It's honestly a really interesting uh, design. Looks like a chest. 
So I think this is just straight up a dead end. I can't see where that could possibly go. Oh, there's something though. How do I get up there? I we gotta go around. Here we go. Looks like these are the stairs. Them. Up, 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 up. So did I just miss it, or is it on like an edge? Ah, looks like I just missed it. I think that's the teleporter over there too. Uh, yeah, let's go for even faster attacks. I can see myself easily getting getting lost here. I'm gonna grab some stuff. Another old war stealth kit. And it looks like this is the the top. Another leeching seed. Wow, we have a ton of those this run. Where was it? Ah, down there. Wow, and we even made a... Whoa, no thanks. It's a strong no thank you. Do I have? I think all of my healing is damage based. What do we get? Bubble! Nice. But we're also going to be going through the Celestial Portal as well. Finishing up this run. The equipment drone's nice and all, but I think it's better on things that have a much lower cooldown. Like, the backup doesn't have a super high cooldown or anything, but... I feel like the burst potential's better. You know, using it when you plan upon it existing. Celestial? Celestial. Alright, let's wrap this up. Oof. Wow, I'm so fast, I barely even... Oh no, I missed! Uh... There we go. I don't think... 
think I can die from gravity in here, but eh, just in case. <laughs> Let's wait a moment. Do I have any out of combat healing? No. I do have that uh, shield though. <sighs> Shit. Uh oh. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die to this. Because this is a long fall. Hey, there we go. Engineer long jump champion. <laughs> oh no! I got greedy. I thought I could make that. Guess not. What an anticlimactic end to this run. Go, 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 go. Oh, that was close. Can't quite make that one. This one I can make though. Ooh, wow, that was close. Not sure what happened there, but okay. There we go, and time to use the obelisk. But most importantly, power plant survivor unlocked. <laughs> 